Sophie was diagnosed with severe obsessive compulsive disorder when she was nine. A decade on, she's now learned to manage the condition, but at its worst, it left her paralysed by fear. I'd feel like confined on the couch. Like I couldn't touch even a pillow that was right next to me because it was contaminated with whatever I was worried about with school. I had a six hour shower, completely like using bottles of shower gel, shampoo. Um, and then even afterwards, like not even wanting to go into my own room, I had to be in a different room because my room was contaminated with school. In Hal's case, his OCD focused on numbers and counting and led to so-called rituals that lasted up to nine hours a day. It's pretty insidious and it comes back and raises its ugly head wherever you least expect it. Um, and it's a nightmare, really. It's estimated one in four 17 to 19-year-olds are now suffering serious mental distress, up from one in six last year, before COVID, in 2017, it was one in 10. COVID has played a role and probably quite a significant one when you think about the disruption that children and young people have experienced to um, their social and their family situations and to their education, as well as just the wider uncertainty. And it means across the country, the supply of mental health services is struggling to meet demand. This is the Maudsley Hospital in South London, the country's leading specialists in children's and young people's mental health. But even after being referred here, the waiting time for treatment can be as long as 16 months. Clinicians say it's not just the number of referrals that's increased, but also their severity. In many cases, the longer that we leave a young person without the treatment is that that, that can mean that they can get significantly worse. And something that um, myself and my colleagues who've been in the service for a long time have been aware of recently is that we are seeing such a much higher number of really, really severely unwell young people. I came here and everything sort of started to make sense. Hal says the treatment he received here saved his life, but now there's more young people than ever needing help. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.